Well, free agency starts in a couple days, so time to enjoy the calm before the storm. Pretty soon there's going to be deals flying left and right. Hey, we released Russell Wilson. Oh, no problem. Yeah, you're totally allowed to do that. I mean, nothing wrong with a little excitement before free agency. We also traded Jerry Judy to the Browns. Okay, well, as long as those are the only moves. We're signing Chris Jones to a record-breaking deal. We're trading Mac to the Jaguars for a pack of bubblegum. Half a pack of bubblegum. Right, half a pack of bubblegum. Sorry. We're re-signing Baker. What is going on? What's the problem? Well, what's the point of having a free agency start date if everything's just going to pop off before that? Teams have always been allowed to make moves with their own players before free agency. I know, but there's not usually this many. Whatever, as long as those are the only types of deals being made. We're signing Kevin Byard. Okay, how is that allowed? He was an eagle last year. Maybe you should read your own rule book so you can stop having a mental breakdown. Fine. Who wrote this? You did. This is endlessly confusing. What the hell is a transition tag? Comp picks? How are comp picks determined? Yeah, we kind of assumed you guys just threw darts at a board to figure those out. It says there's a formula, but I have to complete a Sudoku puzzle to reveal it. Also, signing bonuses get spread across the length of the contract for cap purposes. This is a mess. How are fans supposed to follow this? They don't. Fantastic. We're signing Russell Wilson. Fantastic. Steelers country? Let's weld. That doesn't even work! All right, free agency is about to begin. Now remember, you have to report all your deals to me to make them official. So let's have some fun, let's do some business. Free agency begins in three, two, one. We're signing DeAndre Swift. So that's how we're kicking this off, that's disgusting. We're signing Josh Jacobs. See, now that's a good move. You probably have the best running back duo in the league now. And we're releasing Aaron Jones. Never mind. We're signing Aaron Jones. Can you guys leave our hand-me-downs alone for once? Hey, we don't have a quarterback anymore. We need as much help as we can get. Wait, what was that about you not having a quarterback anymore? Oh yeah, we're signing Kirk Cousins. The whitest man in the NFL goes from Minnesota to Atlanta. This should be fun. Oh, actually, we've got a quarterback now. We're signing Sam Darnold. Yeah, you still don't have a quarterback. We're signing Derrick Henry. Okay, now that's a f problem. Why? Well, in a good way for you guys. Every linebacker in the NFL just felt a disturbance in the force. How are you supposed to defend a Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry read option? I don't know, but I know how we're going to try. We're signing Patrick Queen. I hate you so much. I hate you more. Seems like a lot of players are going to division rivals. Oh, well, probably just a coincidence. We're signing Saquon Barkley. Nope, something's definitely up. I can't believe Saquon would go to the Eagles. Does he have no respect for us? Maybe you should have given him a decent offensive line. Or not franchise tagged him when he wanted a long-term deal. Or put together a contending roster at literally any point during his time there. No, this is definitely his fault. Okay. I'm already exhausted. Are we not done yet? When did this become the NBA? Nope, we are not done because we are signing Gabe Davis. Yeah, I don't care. Like, at all. I literally could not think of a less impactful move. Okay, jeez. Also, there have been a lot of moves and none of them have involved Justin Fields. Who wants him? Understood. Hey Mac, do you know what rhymes with your first name? Ooh, lots of things. You've got snack, I love snacks. You've got quack, that's what ducks do. You've got sack, I take a lot of those. Yeah, I was thinking pack, as in what you should do to your bags. We just traded you to Jacksonville. Oh my god. First Bill gets fired, then Matthew Slater retires, and now this? It's really the end of an era in New England. Yeah, you're not really in the same category as them. This is just so unexpected. Is it though? I just really wish I could see my dad one more time before I go. Well, you're in luck. I asked him to drive you to the airport. Good to see you, Gerard. Dad! But still not your dad. That should be pretty obvious by now because I would never be traded for a six round pick like you were. No, but you were a six Six round pick, so our value is basically equal. No. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I think so. I just really didn't envision my time in New England ending this way. I can relate to that. Just for completely different, literally could not be more opposite reasons. I just have so many questions. Like what? Like what did I do wrong? Everything. Am I gonna start in Jacksonville? No. And who's gonna be my Jacksonville dad? Well, it obviously can't be Trevor because he was in your draft class, so I guess we gotta go historical. Uh, David Garrard? Come on. He can't be my dad. Why not? Because. He's from New Jersey. Oh yeah, New Jersey does suck. Right? What about Blake? Oh, actually, that's perfect. Papa Bortles! Glad we sorted that out. I just feel like I have unfinished business here. I really wanted to be the quarterback of the Patriots. Listen, but sometimes things don't go the way you expect. But a fresh start might be exactly what you need. I mean, Tampa Bay was so excited to have me, they started calling it Tampa Bay. Before you know it, you could be playing in Maxonville. You really think so? Sure. Why not? All right, let's get going. Security's starting to give you the look. All right. I think I can do this. Sure you can. He's going to be cutting him up. All right. New beginnings, positive mindset. I can do this. This just in. I've got a new teammate. Yeah, I can't do this. I mean, who would have thought? Both of us looking for new homes and we end up in the same home? What are the odds? Crazy. Now all we can do is make the best of our situation and we can do it together. Mm -hmm. Rebuilding our careers one game at a time. Although it'll probably be a little easier for me since I'm going to be the starter. Yeah, not for long. Oh no, I am starting. Mike told me right before they traded for you that I'm still the guy. Look, you might be the starter now, but that is not going to last. Well, either way, I welcome some healthy competition. That's the thing. It's not going to be healthy competition. It's going to be a toxic mess. What's going to happen is, yes, you're going to start the season and then after about a month of you being mid, because that's what you are now. Fans are going to start calling for your head, and not just Steeler fans, it's also going to be my fans. A delusional pack of Justin Fields supporters that have way too much faith in me. You're calling your own fans delusional? You have no idea. Don't worry, Justin, the Bears are going to draft Marvin at number one. You're still the guy. I am literally on a new team. I already got traded. We're pretending that didn't happen. See what I mean? And eventually they'll get past the denial stage and then they'll follow me over here. And they will not stop until I'm the starter. Oh, so this is going to be hell. If they don't put us on hard knocks, it'll be a massive fumble. And you know a thing or two about fumbles. Exactly.
Hey, I'm gonna step in front of a bus. Hey, I know Russ and I aren't the best, but at least you're gonna get all the targets now that Deontay's gone. With this guy calling plays, we'll see. More targets for Van Jefferson. I'm so smart. All right, NFC East. How are we feeling after free agency? <sighs> after what? Free agency. The thing you've ignored for the past two weeks. Oh, that started? I could have swore that wasn't for a few more weeks. What a surprise Dallas treats the offseason the same way they treat the actual season, by not showing up for the important part. You guys got eliminated the same time we did. Yeah, but we've actually been making moves in free agency to make sure it doesn't happen again. Like signing Saquon away from the Giants. Damn, you really let them do that to you? We didn't exactly have a choice. I mean, you did, it's just that the choice was a year ago when you chose to pay Daniel Jones over Saquon. Oh yeah, how's that going for you? It's going so well they signed Drew Locke to compete for the starting job. What gives you the right to talk? Who's your quarterback? No one. Which is undeniably better than having Daniel Jones. Wait, you guys said free agency started? Yes! That's what this whole conversation has been about. Where'd Tony go? Pollard, he went to the Titans. Gross. We have any other free agents? Yes, and we took them both. Dorrance Armstrong and Tyler Biotis. Well, that wasn't very nice of you. Why are you being so casual about this? You've done nothing in free agency. How do you expect to improve? Oh, we don't have to. In a division with you guys, it's like that Mario Party clip of Luigi winning without doing anything. What about the Eagles? They're good, but we're just gonna split every year anyway. We'll win at home and they'll win at home. No reason to stress about it. So you're happy with just being top two in the division, making the playoffs, and doing nothing of significance beyond that? Yeah. That's what we've done for 30 years. Oh yeah, that's a good point. All right, now that I'm in New York, it's a new chapter for me. No more injured Mike Williams. I'm gonna finally have a healthy season. Uh, hello? I'm gonna f you up. Whoa, what's up with this guy? Oh, that's MetLife. He does that. Does what? Injures you. Yeah, the turf is here to take your soul. Okay, but I've already been injured a lot, so do you think maybe you could take it easy on me? The turf has no mercy. Where'd you get that golf club? Don't worry about it. This is what he does. Took me out last year, and he's taken out countless visiting players. Nick Bosa, Solomon Thomas, Jalen Phillips. I like hearing them scream. What is wrong with you? A lot. Honestly, with your injury history, I'm not sure why you'd want to sign you. I didn't think it was this bad. Why does the NFL keep him around? We already paid so much for him. We can't get rid of him now. You're paying for this? Well, yeah. Natural grass is icky. Oh my god. Well, that was a fun first weekend, huh? Sure was. Oh yeah, Purdue's still in it. That's a surprise. There was nothing fun about that weekend. Ha! <laughs> you guys lost to Oakland. That dude couldn't miss. What were we supposed to do? Play defense. Okay, this is no time for jokes. At least your team didn't lose to a bunch of nerds. Man, the SEC is down bad. Shout out Connecticut, though. Their fans just kept talking about trajectories and inertia and thermodynamics, which I'm like 80% sure has nothing to do with basketball. Next thing we knew, a bunch of dorks had sent us packing. Get wrecked, loser. The SEC is a disappointment. What a surprise. All right, I'm trying to make some picks on Betway, so what are we thinking? Because if you bet $25 and win your first bet, you get $150 back in qualifying states. Definitely betting against Purdue. The choke is inevitable. Hey! Yeah, probably. Should probably just bet on us to win the title again. Objection. Yeah, we have a chance too. All right, fine. I think I know one thing we can all agree on. Let's bet against Duke. Now you're talking. Yep, I'm in. Indubitably. Yeah, no, I I'm doing really well. I, I feel like I've finally moved on. I have been seeing someone. Yeah, I, I, uh, I drafted Sam Laporta this year, so... It's been good. It's been really... Hey, you. No. How have you been? No, no, I just got over you. I've been doing so well since I finally quit you. What gives you the right to show up when I finally put the pieces back together? Look, I know what you're thinking, but I've changed. Yeah, right. No, seriously, I, I know I burned you in the past, but my knee has had a full year to heal. Now you know that injury was way worse than anyone thought. I know it was. Arthur Smith is gone. Oh, that is big. And I got a new quarterback. Wait, you did? Who? Kirk Cousins, someone that can actually get you the ball. Everything's finally coming together for me. I feel like a new man. No, no, I, I'm with Sam Laporta now. You were with him when you took him in the 13th round. He's gonna be way too expensive in redraft leagues now and you know it. Where are you ranked? Tight end six at best, like seventh round. What do you say? Will you take me back? <sighs> Fine. Yes. But if this Kirk stuff sends your stock spinning out of control by the time drafts roll around, this is done. I am not spending an early pick on you. Mm, we'll see about that. What was that? No. Pitt's train is back on, baby. All right, Stefan. I don't know what's going on with you, but we really want to work this out. The enemy speaks kindly and holds a knife. What? Life is but a broken wing bird. Can you just be normal? Sometimes the answers are simple. It's the questions that are complicated. Does anyone know what he's talking about? Ever? I do. You don't count. I don't what? Oh, I'm tweeting about this. We'll take him off your hands. Yes, please take him. I'm tired of this. Second round pick? Deal. Sweet. Uh, who are my receivers now? Oh, sh I forgot about that. Bet you regret letting Gabe Davis go now. Oh, not even a little. Yeah, screw that guy. Okay, never mind. Stefan, you ready to go? I have loved the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. Please just play football. All right, man, look, you're in the NFL. You've made a lot of money. You've had a promising start to your career. Things are going great for you, so just keep making good decisions and you'll have the life you've always wanted. I appreciate it. Yeah, I really feel like I'm on the right track. You know what I really want to do, though? Don't say it. I want to race. No. Cars, specifically. Can you not? On busy streets and highways. Why? I might drink, too. Well, that makes it better. Really? No. I want to endanger lives. What? Including my own. Is it really that hard to obey speed limits? It is the single hardest thing I've ever tried to do. Okay. Hey, CJ, we got you a new receiver. Meet Stefan Diggs. What's up, man? Happy to have you. Excited to see what you can do. Yeah, whatever. As long as you get me the ball, we won't have any problems.
I mean, we'll get you the ball for sure, but we've also got Nico Collins, Tank Dell, Dalton Schultz. You're not going to be this, like, clear-cut number one guy. Yes, I am. What? Or I will cause problems. Lots of them. Why did you bring him here? He's been one of the best receivers in the league for years. I thought he could help. Yeah, but did you even talk to him? His attitude sucks. I didn't think I had to. <sighs> Let me call Josh. Hello? Hey, Josh, it's CJ. CJ, is Diggs f***ing things up yet? Well, yeah. Actually, that's why I called you. What do I do with him? Hell if I know. Why do you think we traded? He's that bad? Yes, he's that bad. In fact, if you leave him alone for too long, he'll chew up your couch like an understimulated husky. <laughs> Man, we just got that couch. Good luck, though. He's a hell of a player if you can keep him happy. It's just really f***ing hard to keep him happy. Great. This should be fun. <laughs> I want more targets. The season hasn't started yet!